Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new story. The name of this story is what if Naruto was in a Genin team with Madara and Hashirama. And yeah guys, it is an unscripted story. Now before continuing this, shout out to where it is due. Shout out to my boy SpideyXArco for suggesting this idea. Now it is his idea and I'm going to be changing it into a completely different story from his description because as I read it, I ended up making... A few changes and then it was a completely different story from his idea but it is still basically his idea i don't know if that makes sense or not anyways make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and please send in your ideas as i will be turning them after fully recovering as you guys can see from my voice i'm still recovering and after i do so i will be making them into short movies and movies anyways yeah i read your comments i'm truly grateful for your kind words and yeah I heard that some of you guys were also sick. Please take care of yourself. It is quite hot out there. And yeah, the weather, it is changing and it's going to cause a lot of sickness in these days especially. So take care of yourself, guys. Now, enough said. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Story begins in Konoha Gakuren Sato. 13 years after the QB attack, as we go towards the said village Shinobi Academy, in which the next generation of Genin have just graduated. As we see, the parents were happy for their kids, and some of them were sad that their kids didn't make it, and amongst them was one such kid who was an orphan, and the pharaoh of the said village, Naruto Uzumaki. As he alone in the backyard was sitting on a swing, looking at the Ganins with envy in his eyes, and sadness, as no one was there to comfort him, lift his spirits up, and here he was inveying them that he has failed for the third time to become a Ganon. As he saw a silhouette looming over him, as he looked up, his eyes wide to see who it was. Mizuki-sensei? Well, I thought I would have found you here, Naruto, and cheer you up. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about anything, sensei, I'm fine. You don't look fine, Naruto. Tell you what! I guess Iruka didn't mention to you that there is a secret test that only those who have tried and tried again and yet failed but still have the motivation to become a Ganin can take and achieve not only a Ganin headband but also uh, the Rookie of the Year title. What? Is this true? Of course, it's a top secret well, endeavor and if you're in on it, you can take the test. Really? What is it? As Mizuki with calmness and kindness in his eyes, then said, It is simple. All you have to do is go to the Hokage office, and there you will see a big scroll. Written on it will be the scroll of ceilings, and you have to bring it to me, the one who gives you the test at this location. In the middle of the forest of death? Yes, you have to be here specifically in the midnight Naruto. Not a moment late or the test will end and you will be failed if you fail to do so. You don't have to worry about anything, Sensei. I'll get it done. And with these words, Naruto dashed. Dashed towards his GD's office. Happily that he was finally able to achieve his dream soon. As now we see, Mizuki was standing under the shade of the tree had a huge smirk on his face. <laughs> Pathetic. Well, it was easier than I expected. All I had to do is wait. I've laid the bait set the trap. Everything is going according to plan. And with these words, Mizuki left. As now we see, it was night time as Naruto was sneaking in to his Gigi's office, where the scroll was set it, by and told to him by his sensei. As he heard that his Gigi was talking to someone, Okage-sama, with all due respect, you need to move the scroll. Putting it in your library, it is going to attract too much attention. You don't think that I know that, dragon. As Naruto has heard about dragon named Anbu, he was the dragon commander and the strongest Anbu, second to the Hokage. His Gigi was talking to him, as Naruto then held his breath, as he didn't want it to be detected by both of them, unaware that they already knew that he was here because of his special chakra, as they too were interested in what Naruto might do. As they continued their chat normally, as Dragon then pondered and tried to say more to Hiruzen, It is dangerous, Okage-sama. That is the most treacherous scroll of the whole village, and if it falls into the wrong hands, many of the secrets can be unveiled to forces that can destroy Konoha later on. I know, and that is why we are setting up a place, specifically to place it there. 
but as of now, a few more days, it will remain here in my office. I hope you don't mind with that, Dragon. Not at all, Hokage-sama. I will tighten the security, you don't have to worry about that. I will go and inform the Anbus. Meanwhile, you take care of yourself. As with these words, they parted ways, as Dragon went to do his job as Hiruzen went on his desk to do the paperwork, as Naruto sneaked in and saw the scroll, but before he could take it, Hiruzen stood up and said, Naruto, what are you doing here? As Naruto with wide eyes then did something with a smirk. Naruto, no, said Hiruzen with the realization dawning on his face. As Naruto then said, sexy jitsu, and transformed into a girl's as his sensitive parts was surrounded by, well, fog. As after that we see, Hiruzen passed out with a nosebleed, as Naruto took the scroll with a huge smirk and dashed. As after N Hiruzen woke up, we see Dragon there chuckling, seriously, he fell for that trick? As Hiruzen grumbled and said, why would he want to steal the scroll? It's unlikely of Naruto, he wouldn't have known if the thing would have existed or not. Someone must have set it up, I will tell my Anbus to keep a close watch on him. Alright Dragon. Instead of telling the Jonins, I'm telling this to you, and your Anbus. Bring him in without any harm, as you wish, Hokage-sama. And also, if Naruto hasn't done this on his own accord, find out who did and bring him in as well. You didn't have to say that, Hokage-sama. As after that, we see Naruto was now seen in the forest of death, unaware that the Anbus were already surrounding him, hiding in the shadows, waiting patiently for the one who Naruto was waiting for. As he was talking to himself, Huh, Mizuki-sensei is sure taking a lot of time. Why don't I just take a peek? I mean, what could go wrong? As Naruto opened his scroll because of his Uzumaki genes, it opened up to him as Naruto began to read the jutsus and found two specific jutsus that were quite intriguing. As one of them was the Shadow Clone Jutsu, the multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu, as Naruto tried to do it but he couldn't do so as he saw it. Oh man, not these again. I can't even do these. As Naruto then went towards other jutsus and found one, Aru Tensei Jutsu. And beneath them was the chakra that was stored by both Ashirama, Madara, Tobirama, and even Hiruzen and Minato in case of emergencies and needs to ever make, the, make them revive again. As Naruto then thought to himself, Huh, these must be the powers of the Kages. I heard that the the first Tokage, he he was the most strongest of them all. Even though I liked the fourth, he had an amazing Kagegan guy. What was it again? Wood bending? Wood cutting? I don't know. It was regarding something with wood, right? Anyways, what what else is there? Madara Uchiha. Huh. Seems interesting. As Naruto, now intrigued by both, then did the hand seals and tried to gain their knowledge or power or whatever. But as he poured a huge amount of chakra into it, two coffins rose in front of him. And out came two of the legendary shinobis with huge cracks on their faces. As they were brought there, Naruto then saw something that shocked him. As he misspelled one of the last hand seals as huge amount of his chakra was exhausted, as a huge bright light glowed and both of the revived legendary shinobis in their own rights were now reverted back to life and not only that, they were back as kids similar to Naruto's age. As Madara looking at Hashirama then said, Hashirama, <laughs> we are seeing you in your tiny kid form. Kid form? Talk about yourself Madara, you are a child as well. What? As both begin to bicker, as the Anbus who were watching this from the shadows couldn't take it anymore as they landed revealing themselves. And in front of them stood Dragon himself alongside with Hiruzen. S -s Sensei? Monkey? Is that you? Wow, you've grown quite old. As Hashirama said these words, it really is you. But how is this possible? Wait, how? How is this really possible? Last time I checked, I was dead. And so was I. But being back revived like this. Hmm. It must be because of that kid. I sense the same chakra that revived us and brought us back within him. He is the Cubis Jinchuriki, isn't he? As everyone flinched under Madara's gaze, even if he was a kid, 
he was still regarded as Yami no Shinobi, the one of the strongest Uchiha and the strongest Shinobis that could decimate armies on his own in his prime. And he too was reverted back to his, well, prime age or before that. As now we see, Naruto who was passed out, still, was picked up by Hiruzen. We need to talk somewhere private. Dragon, have you caught Mizuki? As Naruto said, yes, Mizuki has been captured and is interrogated. I'll wrap up the scroll and leave. As now we see, they move towards a uh, more, well, silent space and a private one as well. It was the Okage office as the seals were raised up, as even Koharu, Homura and Danzo were called in. As they all were shocked, I still can't believe this. Well, seeing all my students grow up and older than me, it's quite weird as well. But hey, I'm not complaining. Sensei, it's not a game. This is... How is this even possible? At first, it seems that the kid used the reserves that we set up Hashirama when Mito and Tobirama made the scroll. If the push comes to shove and we need to be revived with our chakra stored there. I see, so that is how we were able to be revived. But still, that need, that only would have brought us as Ado Tensei, a zombie, not a complete human. Maybe the kid might have misspelled one seal or did something wrong. So it's a rebirth jutsu he created by accident. <laughs> Who would have thought the power similar to Rinnegan would have been created accidentally by a kid who was just trying to do a mission that he thought that his sensei gave him, but in truth he was being tricked, said Madara, feeling quite funny at the situation that was in front of him as he spelled it out. As the elders and Hiruzen were also quite worried of him, you don't need to worry about anything. I'm not gonna do anything, because what is in the past is in the past. It is as if Kami has given me another chance. So it has given to you, Hashirama. So we should be grateful and live our life. Now that you say that, we can't just let you roam around here. People will start to take notice, mainly the older generation who have seen you in your younger years. Still, I mean, we, we died quite a long time ago. You know that, Hiruzen. Well, there are quite a lot of old people that still roam around here, Sensei. <laughs> Much older than us, even. Ah, oh, you don't say. Well, I have a proposition then. That kid Naruto, he has a lot of potential, but I see that he's untrained and unskilled because he passed out. Why? As they all flinched when Madara said that. As Hiruzuna said, people hate him because 13 years ago there was a QB attack. A man claiming to be you attacked the village. Me? Hmm. I remember. It must be that kid. That kid? What do you mean by that? The kid I left my will to, and turns out, after I died I came to realize that it never was an Uchiha or my will. I was being manipulated. You? Being manipulated? As all of them were surprised as Hashirama said these words. Correct Hashirama. Zetsu. He is the will of Kaguya or Tsuzuki, mother of the Sage of the Six Spot, the Rabbit Goddess. The one who brought the chakra to our world, and Sage distributed it. While we think that it is our right, she thinks otherwise. We are using her power against our wishes and will, and once she frees herself, she's gonna take it back. So, so what does this have to do with the QB attack? The nine beaches were also made out of chakra, and they are a part of something bigger, the ten tails. Who is the creation of her? Makes sense, right? And she needs it to gain power, chakra, all that she has lost to this world back in the palm of her hands. We see this. We all see this. This makes sense. So what do you plan? We'll teach Naruto. We'll be a part of his scanning team. That kid, he needs to be completely in sync with the Biju because we as well will be there with him to take down Zetsu, and that mass person who claimed to be me. As Hashirama then said, so this is why you betrayed the village back then? Well, I apologize, but yes, 
I really thought that at the time that I was bringing back El Shia prophecy to bring peace to this world by destroying everything we built, our home, our friendship, all of that. I'm sorry, Hashirama, but I really thought that I was doing something. <laughs> Turns out I was nothing more than being an idiot who was being manipulated. I destroyed everything. My clan, my reputation, our friendship, our home, everything. Well, it is still standing here, as you can see, and what you have told us, Madra, we are now certain to who we should look for. I will call my student, Jiraiya. He runs a spy network. We will be able to track the Setsu down immediately. Well, in the meantime, we do so and keep an eye on him. Why don't you two go and, well, introduce yourself to Naruto and maybe get to know him better. And then we'll decide on a team. All right. As after that we see, Naruto woke up and was sitting in the, well, hospital room, quite shocked after finding out that he was being tricked by Mizuki, and he was in deep trouble because Dragon wasn't going to let Naruto off easy, so he decided to prank him because Naruto was called prankster from hell and has pranked them quite a lot. As Naruto was now worried sick, what was his Gigi going to do? Was he going to hate him as the people? No, 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 that can't be true. As he was thinking such thoughts, we see... Two of the kids his age enter, as one was a brooding one while the other one seemed happy. Hey there Naruto, my name is Hashirama and this is Madara and we're going to be again in team together. Wait, what? But I... Wait, how is that possible? I mean, I, I don't have any headband, which, make, which means I'm not a shinobi of this village. What makes you think that? Here, we got this from he... I mean, Hokage-sama. We got this from Hokage-sama. Oh, you know you quite have your names. I mean, who names themselves after Hashirama-sama, the first Hokage? But Madara? I never heard of that guy. It's quite a weird name, as Madara had a twitching eyebrow, as Hashirama stifled his chuckle, as Naruto asked this question. Well, you know, it is quite an interesting name indeed. I wonder why my parents named me. Oh, enough, Madara. As Madara then said, You idiot. You're going to be with me and this idiot for the rest of your getting years. So you better make most of it. And we are going to be the best team there ever is and was and will be in this village. Um, okay. So you better be ready for hell. I mean, training. Y you just said hell. Same thing, kid. Are you ready or not? Or are you gonna chicken out and stay there as a defeated nobody? No, I'm ready. And what came next was complete obliteration of Naruto as he was seen screaming as Madara with his vicious grin on his face was training or more like torturing Naruto as it was an end. Well, his other fellow Elders watched this from afar as Hashirama was trying to calm them down and get Madara to calm down more specifically while running after them as Madara was running after Naruto who was running away from both of them, calling them monsters and all. As now we see, they begin to speak. You know, this makes me wonder, how are we gonna handle this if the news leaks out that they really are who they namesakes they are? Well, that is something we have to keep on hold, remember? Which you guys, we don't gotta worry about them since they are gone. And, well, the others, they might be worried and run around like headless chickens after finding out that most of the two dangerous shinobis and powerful ones have been revived back and brought to their land of living by none other than the one who they thought was a demon. As Danzo then said, we need to keep this a secret. Kohadu, Omura, Hiruzen. We all agree that this is a dangerous information, and they not only can get unnecessary attention from our village, but also from other nations as well, because they might try to bring back their kages as well. And not only that, they might try to manipulate them as well. Hmm, this is some dire situation we're in then. Good. Any news from Jiraiya? Jiraiya has said that he has seen such a person that Madara gave description of amongst a group called Akatsuki, the mercenary group. You heard of them, Donzo? Of course, I have. They have been quite a buzz in the mercenary fraction. They have 
consisted of rogue shinobis and have done quite a lot of recon missions and well taking down rogue shinobis as well and collecting bounties left and right albeit they are made out of rogue shinobis as well from different villages itachi uchi and orochimaru was also a part of them at some time until orochimaru left disappeared huh this cannot be good then if orochimaru was a part of them it certainly is not hiruzen so what are we gonna do now we wait and let them train as after the training was done we see they were handed their first ever d rank mission as Hashirama took it as Naruto completely covered in bandages was looking at Madara with a glare. Uden said, What? Why d did you do this to me? You were the one who said you wanted to train. This is what you call a training? Listen kid. I am from... I am from where there has to be a lot more than this for you to be recognized as a shinobi. You should be... Happy that I went easy on you. This is what you call easy? This is outright brutal torture, said Naruto. As Hashirama then said, It's alright, Naruto. You have to get used to it. I mean, it's kind of a training to make you immune to pain if you ever get captured by an enemy and get tortured. This way you won't spill any secrets to, you know, them, said Hashirama, trying to cheer him up as Naruto's jaw hung low. As he then said, You know, you're not that much of a great... Friend, either Hashirama. As Hashirama was now depressed, as a huge cloud was over him. Really? I thought I was kind of a good friend, you know? <laughs> At least I tried. Enough! Get up, you idiots! We're leaving. As both of them getting up, then left with him. As after that, their D rank mission journey began. And after their 40th D rank mission, Madra had enough. Enough with this! As his chakra flared, causing cracks everywhere. As Hashirama stepped in and flared his own chakra. Enough, Madara. What do you want? Just say it. Don't threaten them. I'm not threatening. I'm just frustrated. Is this what our village has become? After many evolutions of generations, it has come to this? This is child's play. Even, even in the academy, they used to do these kind of things. Well, the civilian council. The civilian council? You listen to those said Madara with more rage. They are only here for civilian affairs. Never ever they were brought into existence for shinobi affairs. Well, it was to bring their children into shinobi world. Those only with the potential will be able to stand. It is good to have only 10 soldiers who are expert and are brave and are strong than to have a hundred of those who are not strong enough and weak. As Madara said these words before leaving, hand them over the C rank mission before we leave. As after that they took the C rank mission, it was to help out Team 7 in the land of waves. As the team arrived there, as Kakashi asked, Naruto, where is your sensei? We don't have any. What? Yes, we are, uh, well, you can call us Team Zero if you want to, said Hashirama. My name is Hashirama. His name is Madara, and you already know Naruto from the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, of course we do. He was the loser in our academy, and the dead last, said Sakura Haruno. As Sai, alongside her, then said, You're one to talk wash washboard. As Naruto stifled his chuckle, as did the other two, as Sakura seated. As Sasuke then said, Your name is Madara. Are you an Uchiha? What if I am? <laughs> I am Lower class Uchiha standing up to me, the main clan head. Oh, clan head, you say? Let's test it out then. Fine, I'll put you in your place. As Sasuke and Madara got in front of each other, as Sasuke charged, Madara simply grabbed his hand and flammed him left and right until Sasuke was battered, shocked, and was bleeding. Is this what the elites have come to? I'm glad the clan is gone and destroyed. Huh, pathetic. I would have killed them my my own hands. As while the other Ganyans were shocked, rushed towards Sasuke and yelled at the team, Kakashi was shocked as well. As now we see, Kakashi watched them from afar as they were training and was surprised to see that Hashirama, like Hashirama-sama, 
had wood release and was meditating. Naruto was also being taught by Madara whose shining gun was activated as he suddenly felt a kuna to his neck. What are you doing here, Jolene? You should be with your team, not spying on us, said Madara's voice. You're... So it's true. You really are Madara Uchiha and Hashirama Senjusama, brought back to life by Naruto by accident. How did you find out? I have a lot of friends in Anbu's. Huh, so a leak, huh? I, I was in Anbu and only recently retired, so I only had a hunch and have heard this news while I, I was in Anbu's. Hmm, I see. So, are you going to keep this a secret or are you going to reveal this to everyone? I, I will keep this a secret, sir. Good, but I want to know. Why are you helping out Naruto? The kid has a potential and he is also in danger because of me. That is why I am teaching him, training him hard, so that if anything comes to that point that he has to find all by himself, he will be able to take them on head on and win. I see, so you are basically training him. Yes. As after that, the days continue and so did the training. Sasuke could still not fathom that he had lost to a no-name Uchiha and the words of that one. As the day Zabuza arrived and the bridge was close to completion, we see that Hashirama grabbed the sword that was flung at them with the help of his wood release and Madara charged head first and took him down with a Susano that even made froze everyone on the ground as half Susano armor was activated. You think you have the gal to stand against me, Madara Uchiha? Then think again. As Madara flung him in air so hard that he was thrown eight towns away from there. Most of his bones broken as his compliance dashed towards there to help him out, abandoning the mission for the time being. As Gato arrived, Madara killed them brutally. As he then turned towards Sasuke, as there was a drop of blood on his face, as with his tongue he licked it. And with a vicious smirk, he said, You call yourself a lead, Uchiha? Huh, Sasuke? You can't even stand this much of bloodshed. <laughs> Some elite you are. You haven't seen what the elites have done in the past, boy. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to hold a candle to them by now. And would have considered changing the path or carrier of yours. As after that, we see that Team Zero, as they call themselves now, left back after helping them and their first C-rank mission was complete and soon they found out the tuning exams were near and Jirai appeared as well and was both honored and terrified to meet the two legends that were training Naruto and was about to tell them one news I, I have a news for you um the Akatsuki they, they are going to come here in the tuning exams what why they they, they think that it is the best time when all of the beaches were going to be gathered in one place. What? Yes. I, I have found news that one tails, two tails, even seven tails, and eight tails, and most of the beaches, other from other aside from them, from different villages, are going to be here. Hmm. It makes their target easy. Capturing a lot of beaches at one go. A risky, dangerous mission, but one if done right can make their work a lot easier than it needs to be. Hmm. A perfect chance for us to strike again. Keep an eye on Zetsu and keep me informed, said Madara. As after that we see, the training continued more intensely for one month. And after that, as they arrived at the Ganon chambers, every Ganon was unleashing its killer intent until Madara then looked at them and said, Enough with this. As he unleashed his killer intent, everyone literally froze. Some even puked and some pissed their pants, as Madara's killer intent was increased and even more vicious than any other being that they have ever felt. Even Orochimaru's killer intent felt paler to this, as even he was intrigued by this Uchiha. As he approached Madara, My oh my, you have quite the killer intent there. So have you, snake. As suddenly his hand clenched, Madara kicked so hard that the face came off revealing Orochimaru. As instantly Hashirama used his wood release to capture him and bind him tying him there completely, rendering him chakraless as his chakra was exhausted. And instantly Anbu's arrived there alongside with Jonin's, seeing Orochimaru who was seething now. 
being captured. How is this possible? And with him out of the way and in the questioning chambers, we see that the test began. And as the second part of the test went smoothly, the third part of the test arrived, in which the Kartsky attacked, even before the beginning of the preliminary rounds, taking this as a chance to surprise them, because the Ganins were tired, the Jonins were tired, everyone was exhausted at the time now. As they decided to attack, Madra, Hashirama unleashed their full intent and force on them. Using the sage mode of the nature, Hashirama attacked. And Madara attacked using his full Susano and his abilities of Sharingan and Rinnegan. As for Naruto himself, he used a hand seal to unlock the cage of Riju. I'm sorry Kurama, but I need your help. I know you're mad, but please. Fine kid. And it's only because I'm going to help my siblings and take down that Peskizatsu once and for all. And with these words said, the three of them, unleashing their full intent and power, charged and took down Akatsuki once and for all. As now we see, the three of them were regarded as heroes, but they miscalculated one thing. All the Kages were there and they have seen them. And now we see huge debates going on of what the hell was going on here. And surprisingly enough, Madara came up with a story. As they were brought on a Kage summit. We are reborn and reincarnated into these bodies as both Madara and Hashirama. So, so we really are. Of course, Fansitter, or otherwise, how would we have known you? <laughs> I know you since you were a little snotty brat, Oniki. It's quite nice to see that you've grown up to be such a fine old man. As Oniki grumbled, knowing that it was really Hashirama with his kind, kind of cold, well, slightly devilish words. But, in the end, they had to come to terms with that, that they were reincarnated into this world again. Thanks to Madara and his sharp-witted lies. But aside from that... We see that the bond was formed between the three of them, Naruto, Hashirama and Mathra, as the three of them grew up to become the pillars of the new Konoha and the Elemental Nation, bringing peace and justice everywhere. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys, I hope you like this one and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and leave your ideas in the comments for me to make awesome stories, short movies and movies. As this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off for the day, peace!